Hello everyone. My name is Sonam Lal and I welcome you to Not So Secret Diaries. We all have grown up listening to different stories and legends about mythological beings. While some people say they are true, for others these are just myths. For some people have witnessed mythical creatures while for others they don't even exist. In this video, I am going to talk about mythical creatures that are famous in French folklore. Please watch this video till the end and please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to keep yourself notified about my future videos on other interesting topics. So first, let us talk about Lewton. Every culture is bound to have a creature like Lewton, so this one isn't anything new. Dwarf, elf, fairy, gnome, imp, leprechaun, pixie, sprite are among several terms that are used to describe this form of hobgoblin in other cultures. However, Lewton is a character in Normandy folklore that can be both good and bad. Lewtons like their Anglo-Saxon counterparts play a part in Christmas like the ones who support Père Noël. Next comes Tarask. This legendary creature is said to have originated in the Nerlik region of province and is essentially a mishmash of creature limbs and animal spare parts. It has the appearance of a dragon but has the head of a lion three pairs of small bear-like legs and the body of an ox covered in a turtle's shell. It also includes a scaly tail that concludes with a scorpion tail. Of course, each component is built to maim or destroy if you are fortunate enough to escape a horrifying, traumatized future. If legends are to be believed, the king of Nerluk fought the Tarrasque with knights in arms, but it was only through prayers and hymns that Saint Martha was able to tame the beast. The townspeople killed the beast despite being tamed but later regretted it after Martha preached to them about Christianity. They renamed the town Tarascon in honor of the slain beast to make amends for their actions. Next comes the Nain Rouge or Red Dwarf. Red Dwarf is a form of lutein that hails from Normandy as well. This nasty little bugger described as tiny and childlike with blazing red eyes and long rotten teeth is not to be trifled with. His outfit is completed by red or black fur boots but don't be fooled by the devilish grin. He's not just a trickster, he's often considered a harbinger of doom. The Nain Rouge is well known in Detroit, Michigan and is often mentioned in urban legends. The Nain Rouge has been seen before major disastrous incidents such as the Battle of Bloody Run, the fire in 1805, the war of 1812, the 12th street riot in 1967 and the snowstorm in 1976 according to legend. In Michigan, there is currently an annual custom parade that includes the burning of an effigy. Let me introduce you to Lou. Lou isn't the normal, pleasant Lou you are used to seeing at work. This is the most terrifying Lou you will ever meet and he's a jerk. He's a giant serpent-like snail creature with long tentacles that hides underwater until he's ready to snap at you and paralyze you with his hairy, slimy arms. Then he consumes you with his colossal mouth gapping open. Yeah, and by long tentacles, we meant that they can stretch for miles and there's no way out when you come across Lou Kako. So unless you're a fighting ninja swordsman with expert monster fighting skills, there's nothing for you to do but scream and pray until you're swallowed whole, clothes and everything, as slime-covered snail food. This serpent mollusk hybrid is said to live in southwest France's underground caverns and has a shell on its back, much like a snail. But it's not at all typical. We should probably stop dreaming about him now because it's about to take over our nightmares. Dame Blanche Dame Blanche translates to white ladies and you have certainly heard of them. Some people believe they are spirits while others believe they are female supernatural entities known as fae women. The Dame Blanche are well known in Lorraine and Normandy and have been recorded in Occitan, the Pyrenees Mountains and other places in France. They are said to lurk near caverns, ravines, bridges and other small passageways where they can draw the attention of passers-by. They aren't particularly cruel or bad, but if you don't give in to their whims and demands, they will cause you damage. Female bandits, but of the supernatural kind. Metagot or Mandagot 
This legendary creature, which is a spirit in animal form, has been passed down through generations in southern France through tales. Black cat, dog, cow, fox and even rat are among its favorite types. Although some accounts claim that metagots or mandagots are bad, others claim that if well fed, they can be beneficial and bring wealth to home, especially with fresh and plump chicken. There are several ways, several different ways to care for your metagot, but the bottom line is that if you get something out of it, you can expect to give something back. He's more about getting something in exchange for something else. With all the latest breeds of werewolves appearing on TV and in books, you've probably lost interest in them. Werewolves were terrifying the first 10 times you learned of them, right? But don't write them off just yet. You haven't seen the French werewolves. Aside from the fact that the French Lou are likely to have French names like Antoine, Jaume or Benoit. There are other significant variations between how werewolves are depicted in other Western cultures. For one thing, the Lou don't have to wait until the full moon to transform into wolves. They can do so whenever they want. That's a lot of shape-shifting power, isn't it? The Lugahu are also very aware of what happens when they turn into wolves. They don't become raving beasts. They maintain their intellect, but their senses and instincts have been heightened, making them much more difficult to kill than ordinary werewolves. The Peluda, which literally means hairy or shaggy beast, is known as La Velou, which is French for hairy. The Peluda, like the Tarasque, is a jumbled up set of beast parts that come together to form a monstrous concoction. The overall appearance of all these mismatched body parts is that of a stinger tipped green colored dragon which was set to terrorize La Ferte Bena, France during medieval times. It has superpowers such as breath that can kill crops, quills that can be used as arrows and total invulnerability except for its tail and in some reports its neck. It could also trigger flooding by simply walking on rivers, inflict lethal strikes with its tail and even spit out a steam of acid due to its enormous scale. Did you know the Peluda was not among the animals rescued during Noah's Ark according to French folklore? Despite this, it managed to survive the Great Flood by hiding in a cave. Following that, it went on a killing spree across the countryside slaughtering everything in its way. Will-o'-wisp or jack-o'-lantern are common names for this plant creature, but the French call it feu folle. The feu folle is an atmospheric ghost light that appears in various shades of dim bluish glow as well as yellowish, reddish and greenish hues. It appears suspended in the air, often flickering and is most commonly seen at night over cemeteries, swamps or bogs. Aside from the eerie glow, feu folle are normally harmless. But beware, these wisps are said to be death spirits or supernatural entities that if pursued will result in your death. Shival Male literally translates to evil horse or Male horse and although it is indeed evil, it is also very fantastic. This wicked but magnificent horse first appeared in French folklore in the Vendi, Poitou and Père du Rey regions. The horse's strategy is to emerge in the middle of the night and hang out in busy lanes luring tired travellers in. When the tired traveller sees the magnificent horse, saddled and bridled, and wishes to mount it, the poor, ill-advised traveller will almost certainly never be seen again. The moral of the story is simple. Never ride a weird, beautiful horse you see on the side of the road. Beast of Jay Budan What gives this beast a 3 star rating? It's a terrifying fact that this happened in history, that's right. In the former province of Jay Budan, or what is now known as Lozé in Hot Lawyer, there was a man-eating wolf dog that wreaked havoc. Between 1764 and 1767, there were many reports of attacks by beasts with enormous teeth and massive tails as eyewitnesses described them. The victims' throats were ripped out, resulting in deaths of over a hundred people. Some of the victims were partially eaten as well. The fear induced by this dreadful beast prompted a royal intervention, with Louis XV, the king himself, dispatching his killed hunters to put an end to the slaughter. 
Melusine is a female spirit who resembles a mermaid and is well known in northern French folklore. She lives in rivers, springs and other bodies of fresh water and she has wings or one or two tails that may be snake or fish tails. Did you know the Melusine is used in the logo of Starbucks, a well-known coffee company? Quinator is a legendary sea monster that first appeared in the Chronicles of Fredegar, a 7th century record written in Burgundy. It is a Latin term that means bull with five horns. The Quinotaur is said to have sired the line of Merovingian kings when it invaded the wife of a Frankish king, according to the chronicle. This beast, like the others in the dragon serpent family, has a dragon's head and venomous breath. It is said to have roamed the countryside of medieval France. They prefer to live in areas with a lot of moisture, such as trees, lakes and small natural pools. The gyver resembles wyverns in appearance. Did you know the gyver is known to be frightened and uneasy around naked people? They blush and look away when there are naked people around, despite being violent animals. But note, when you're fighting a gyver, it's time to go naked. The Seine River was once terrorized by this mythical water sprouting dragon with four legs and bat like wings. However, the Archbishop of Rouen, Saint Romain, saved the day by taming the gargoyle with the sign of the cross. The monster's neck and head were then displayed on the town's cathedral as a symbol of God's might. Later, the creature was carved into buildings as drainage and it evolved into current gargoyle in architecture. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you all enjoyed watching it. Please be safe and take care of your loved ones. If you want to watch more such videos, please subscribe to my channel. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and you're always welcome to write your suggestion in the comment box. See you soon.